Hi, this is Melanie with Thriving in the Fishbowl, and today I have three helpers with me. What's your name? Ayo. What's your name? Abigail. And? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. We got a giggly Elizabeth. So today we are going to show you how to make what's called resurrection rolls. Okay, and so here's what you need. You need big marshmallows. Can you see those? You need, tell them what this is, Ariel. Do you know what it is? Butter. Butter. And you need a mixture of cinnamon and sugar. So sugar and cinnamon, all right? And we melted the butter. And so what we're going to do is we are going to take a marshmallow. Abigail, you're gonna show them, okay? And I'm gonna read it, okay? So as we're doing this with younger children, here's what we say, okay? Hold the marshmallow up and show them. This signifies Jesus. Jesus is God's son who was sent to earth to pay the price for our sin. He never sinned, so the white of the marshmallow represents the purity and sin-free nature of Christ. So after Jesus died, his body was prepared for burial. So they're going to prepare him for burial, and his friends prepared him to be buried with oil and spices. So the butter represents the oil. So pull your, your thing back. Oops, sorry, baby. Pull it back so they can see it. See how they can see? All right, and so she's dipping it in the butter. Then she is dipping it in the spices, which is the cinnamon and the sugar. Okay? Then Jesus was wrapped in a linen in linen and placed in a tomb with a large rock in front. So we have crescent, and you're supposed to use rolls, but I can't read. It actually may work better. A crescent dough sheet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the marshmallow in the triangle. If you can turn that timer off. So good. Okay. It's so good. You it's gotta good. make this and taste it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So she's wrapping it up. Try to go. All right. And we actually find that instead of one crescent roll, it works better with two because you can seal it all the way up. I'm going to show you what I mean. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we have it wrapped up and then she's going to put it on here. Now I took foil. I think you can see. Let me hold up to you. I took foil and put it on my pan and then I sprayed it with um, olive oil pan. So that way I don't have the mess on the pan because it does, the marshmallow does seep out a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to open the oven and show you what they look like when they're done. Okay. So we need a pot holder. You want to get a pot holder? Okay. Oh. you over here this one is perfect right here in the middle I did um, that one. okay because the marshmallow did not seep out so Abigail's gonna cut it open cut up the middle one all right and so what happens is we allow them to cool you're supposed to allow them to cool this is this one right here cool cut this one open all right and so what happens is you tell the kids you hold it open and see now where there was a marshmallow there is an empty um, crescent roll with a lot of yumminess on there and so what you say to the kids is you say after three days his friends went to the tomb to visit but the rock was rolled away and two angels said why are you looking for the living among the dead reveal that when you cut open the roll or take a bite because you can let the kids take a bite if you let them cool the marshmallow has disappeared leaving an empty tomb and so we remind the kids that the rolls are sweet just like God's love is sweet for us and we follow up by reading the Bible story um, the Easter story from the Bible so kids know the true meaning of Easter and so my kids love doing this every year and so hopefully you all will enjoy doing it my kids have are excited to eat these ones that we just pulled out and so we're gonna sit y'all back down and let um this princess tell you bye because she likes being on facebook okay let me see if i can sit them down here all right she's enjoying tell them what you like to eat Marshmallows. <laughs> Marshmallows. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed our chaos. Um, and tomorrow we have another Easter activity for you that's also edible. Um, it's not quite, it doesn't involve the oven. So, all right, so y'all want to say bye? But it's Penny's Cross. No, we already did the Penny Cross. Yes, if you missed our other two, we talked last week about how you can egg your neighbors. And um, on Saturday, Ariel and I made um, Jesus Paid It oh, All I Crosses. Got, I got oh, one. Elizabeth's going to show you one. Okay, so. All right. Okay, Liz, uh, the cross. All right, you want to tell everybody bye? Bye! All right, Liz, say bye. Can't, you're not in there. Say bye. Uh, bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Have a nose made of marshmallows. A nose made of marshmallows. Okay.